friends so i just should connect the thread joint this is a stainless steel pipe it has the male uh, thread then uh, we are we are applying the teflon tape then we have the then we have the elbow with a female thread so now you can see how this is going to be connected So this is this is one kind of pipe joints. I mean uh, the threaded pipe joints. This is the most recommended pipe joints than uh, most reliable pipe joints in the world. Uh, and the second one as we see before, this is a uh, this is a UPVC glue type pipe joints. So now you can see the demo how to connect. Now you can see the demo how to connect this. Then we need to initially we are just cleaning the the pipe surface for the the sandpaper. So so no need to be too much. Slightly we have to avoid some uh, the dust. So after that we are going to put the thinner to clean the pipe. So this is a thinner solution. See how powerful this is, huh? This is removing the the color code. So do the same for opposite side. This is the one end. This is another end. This is male. This is female. Then apply the. Then apply this uh, glue. Slightly put inside. Do the same. Just rotate all over. Then gently press. Gently press. Gently press. Yes. Then just let it dry for 10 minutes. Then it is going to be. Ready for operation. Uh, then, then as, as we discussed before, now just imagine here is some hole. So, so now I'm just putting one mark as there is a hole. Now we just imagine. Just imagine yourself here is the hole. So because of this small hole, no need to change the entire pipelines. Put like this. So this one will come with the inches. So as you can see, this is 60 to 64, which means uh, the two inches uh, CPVC. So this is suitable for all kind of pipes, not only PVC. You can use it for GI, use it for carbon steel, stainless steel, ductile iron. All the pipes you can put this emergency clamp, but it the, the according to the ranges. The range should be here. You can see the the OD range 60 to 64. This. This uh, OD range should be 60 to 64. Then only this clamp is going to be suitable for this pipe. Oh. 
okay now it's ready so this is uh, this is called emergency repair clamp so i mean uh, it will take only 10 to 15 minutes to install so once we install it we can immediately send the water huh? so this is a very easy way for uh, very easy way for repairing the small leaks the next one we are going to we are going to see how to use the no hub coupling so this is the no hub coupling you can see here this is uh, will come with uh, this is normal uh, this is normal uh, hose clamp so inside will come some uh, rubber rubber gasket only make half after it's done okay yeah like this see and put another one like this and keep this one there yeah and this one turn So now it's almost fixed. It's like almost fixed. This is also one kind of easy way to prepare the pipe. So this no hub coupling also suitable for all kind of pipes. So this is going to be, this is, as you can see, this is a very strong now. So we can immediately send the water. So there won't be any water here. So now, now we are going to see how to join the, the threaded flange with threaded pipe. So the flange and the threaded portion of the pipe. This is a 2 inch PVC pipe. This is 2 inch stainless steel flange, threaded flange. This is one kind of pipe fitting sway. So just imagine now one side is with uh, the flange is connected. So another side also you can you can extend the. I mean you, if you want to extend the length, so you can just connect with uh, another flange. You can just extend the pipe length with another by connecting uh, one more flanges. So always. So always during the time of flange connection we need to put gasket. Now due to this uh, tutorial we are not putting gasket. So we should put gasket. So now we are going to extend the So normally flange joint is recommended for easy dismantling. So like uh, this is most likely will come with uh, the pipe which is joining the pump, the pump section and pump discharge will come as flanges. Then in the valve also, uh, normally you can see the, the, the two flanges will come, so inside will be the valve. So during the time of uh, valve replacement, we can just remove this uh, nut bolt, just slide, uh, take the old valve outside, then install it. You see here, uh, 
we are going to show how to how to connect the metallic coupling jacks. It should have the groove. As I said before, the pipe should have groove in order to use the metallic coupling joints. So now we are just installing the gasket, the upper seal on the pipeline. So this is another pipe, another side also the pipe should have the groove. Then place the rubber seal uh, in between the, the both pipes. Now you can see in the, now you can see there is, the rubber seal went inside totally. Now the rubber seal is in between the two pipes, so it is going to be act like a seal. So now you can see here the joint. This is one of the so this joint and hold until 40 bar pressure. Depends upon that uh, the types of uh, the material of metallic coupling. So if you have uh, metallic coupling in stainless steel, it, it will hold more than 50 bar pressure. So you can see here, this is nicely covered all 